Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kayla Gaskins. Welcome to WDPT News at 5. And now for our top story. Today we're going to take an in-depth look into the disease that continues to plague Americans and is only getting more and more common, type 2 diabetes. Three million cases of type 2 diabetes are reported each year in our country. And what many people fail to recognize is that there's a lot more to this condition than insulin issues. Peripheral vascular compromise is also prevalent in this population, leading to a decrease in blood flow. This causes delayed wound healing and ulcers. Today we're going to the University of Central Florida's physical therapy program where WDPT Sabrina Viola has the inside scoop on how thermotherapy can be used to improve the effects of this disease. Hi, my name is Sabrina Viola and I'm a first year student at the University of Central Florida DPT. Today I'm going to be showing you how to apply thermotherapy to a patient. Today my patient is a 65 year old woman named Olivia who has a five-year history of type 2 diabetes and a stage 3 ulcer on the plantar aspect of her left foot. It has been present for three months. She wants to avoid progression to a stage 4 ulcer and possible amputation. It is painful for her to walk long distances or stay on her feet for over 30 minutes, which is hindering her activities of daily living. First, I'm going to establish appropriateness of thermotherapy by assessing for relevant contraindications and precautions. Based on her evaluation, a main contraindication is the patient's impaired sensation in her feet, which is why I'm going to apply the heat pack more proximally to increase circulation to her distal lower extremity without excessive risk. Additional contraindications are listed below. Precautions include edema, cardiac insufficiency, metal in the area, or demyelinating conditions. Additional precautions are listed below. I will not perform a sensory exam using light touch in the areas I'll be applying heat. I will check skin integrity for wounds as well. Okay, Olivia, I'm gonna be doing light touch. Um, the way it's supposed to feel is like this. Can you please close your eyes and let me know when you feel? Yes, 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 yes. I will then repeat this on the other side. Before I'm gonna position her, I'm going to the heat pack in a hydrocolator with water temperature between 158 degrees to 167 degrees Fahrenheit for at least two hours. I will then wrap the heat pack in the following toweling. I will place an insulation layer of toweling between the chair and the heat pack. Then I have two layers, four layers, two layers, and one layer for a total of nine layers of toweling. or not hot. Good. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the second heat pack in appropriate layers of toweling, which is also nine layers. How does that feel? Good. Good. If it becomes too hot, please ring the call bell that I will provide to let me know. I will be checking your skin every five minutes for a total of 20 minutes. This treatment time is necessary for the hemodynamic effects of vasodilation. I have Olivia positioned, which just to let you know, there are armrests on this chair. I will make sure she's comfortable. Are you comfortable, Olivia? Yeah. Great, if it becomes too hot, please ring the call bell to let me know. I will be checking your skin every five minutes for a total of 20 minutes. The treatment time is necessary in order for hemodynamic effects of vasodilation to occur and increase metabolic activity. Five minutes has passed. Skin integrity is good. There is no excessive blistering or redness. For the treatment, I will examine the patient's skin again and reassess progress towards goal. Expected outcomes include improved circulation of her distal lower extremities and increased availability of oxygen to improve circulation due to the increased tissue temperature. The use of heat is indicated in delayed healing scenarios like my patient who is in the maturation phase of healing. This should help with her goals. More information on thermotherapy, visit Dr. Rothschild's class on theories and procedures at the University of Central Florida.